We are continuing to get results from races across East Tennessee today. You can see the counties in dark blue on this map, which held elections. To give you those results live as they come in, we have live team coverage tonight. 10 News reporter Grace King joins us from North Knoxville. You see reporter Vene Simlot joins us in studio, but we begin with Mary Klingler and a decisive win in the race for Knox County Sheriff Robin. That's right. Two men who both held the title of Knox County Sheriff went head to head today in the Republican primary. Current Sheriff Tom Spangler faced former Sheriff Jimmy J.J. Jones, who headed up the department for eight years from 2010 to 2018. And again, Mary joining us live from the Republican gathering at the Crown Plaza, where the incumbent sheriff won both the early vote and election day. Mary. John, that's right. Might not look like it right now, but just a few minutes ago, this room was full of energy, full of excitement for those Republican candidates who are taking their next step on this journey. But tonight's a big night for Sheriff Tom Spangler, who will be keeping his seat, it appears, as the Knox County Sheriff. Now, his he became the sheriff at first in 2018. That was when Sheriff Spangler served under two different sheriffs as chief deputy before that, before that 2018 term. Now, Sheriff Spangler served as a corrections officer, patrolman, patrol supervisor, and as a Metro narcotics detective. He was instrumental in starting the Regional Training Academy as well as the Knox County Sheriff's Office Aviation Unit. His plans for the next four years, he says, are already in the works. But we got to retain uh, our officers and we got to be able to recruit. It, it's that important to make sure that we do that. Uh, we're not the only ones that, that are hurting there. Uh, here locally, KPD, our surrounding agencies are there. Uh, this country is in the same position that we're in. Unopposed. Now, Sheriff Spengler will go on to the general election unopposed, so that means he will be the next Knox County Sheriff. And he says his primary goal is to get more money into the sheriff's uh, office hands and into those workers employees pockets. Now he will take his spot in his next term September 1st. We'll keep you updated with more information as we learn it. Toss it back over to you guys in the studio. All right, Mary live for us. Thank you so much. And again, polls closed at eight o'clock, but we don't have final turnout numbers. We can show you just how many people voted early in this year's Knox County vote. That graph shows the total number of voters in red in Knox County and the number of people who voted in this year's primaries was in blue. There it was about 7% in the early vote. We're rolling through a couple of other numbers as well. Yeah, voters had to pick whether they wanted to vote in the Democrat or Republican primary. As of early voting, just about a quarter of Knox County voters chose a Democratic ballot. Again, we don't yet have those numbers from people who voted today. Now, the race for Knox County mayor is one to watch in the August general election. Current Mayor Glenn Jacobs ran unopposed on the Republican ticket. He will face Democrat Debbie Helsley who captured about 75% of the vote tonight. For a reaction on the Democratic side, we turn to 10 News reporter Grace King joining us live from North Knoxville. Hey, Grace. Hey, John, there were only two contested races in that Democratic primary this year, the county mayor race and school board district one in the mayoral race. Like you mentioned, Debbie Helsley will face county mayor Glenn Jacobs after she won with about 74% of the vote over Democrats Tyler Givens and Bob Fisher. Next, she'll face Glenn Jacobs in that August election. We spoke to her about why she wants to win. I personally think developers kind of control this county and I think the let the homeowners and renters need to have a say. This is also the first school year school board races are partisan because of a new state law. John Butler won the Democratic primary for District 1. That represents downtown and East Knoxville. No Republican candidates qualified for that race. However, there are two independents running for District 1. So we'll find out in August who will replace Evity Satterfield. Robin and John. Grace King on the Democratic side. Thank you, Grace.